Okay, so the next thing we're going to look into is the key bindings within Atom. This is what physically maps the key commands to various different actions within Atom. So you'll find this within the preferences key bindings pane, which lists all of the key bindings for all packages and settings within Atom. This includes a really handy little search interface. So if you're ever curious about what is binded to different keys or commands, you can use this to search. So uh, this uses the keystroke in dash delimited format. So in this case, a uh, command F for find would be in CMD dash F, which will then load up the find replace. So multiple keys uh, strokes that you would have to press at the same time will be dash delimited here. It also allows for an easy find and replace of the command itself. So for instance, if I was to search for find and replace, I would find that this uh, these are all the actions tied to the find and replace area. On the right, it lists the source. So again, Adam, very modular. So this could be coming from the core settings or from one of the many packages you may install. So this will kind of tell you where that those are uh, set up and configured. There are also a couple other ways to find the key bindings uh, shortcuts in case you forget. Within Atom, some of the core settings are always hinted at in the drop-down menu. So for instance, in the uh, for copy commands, for the find and replace actions that we just look at, you can see that they're hinted at within the um, within each drop-down area. There's also a custom area for packages, which kind of go through the unique package settings and then any key bindings there will be represented there. You can also open up the command palette by holding down shift command and P and the command palette will also search this exact same thing and list the various different key commands on the right. So in this case, if I search for the find and replace key command, I can find the, the text here and the key action. I can also actually run that key command by using this as well, just by pressing enter. There are a couple different ways to change and configure your own key commands. One is to use your own, which is edited in the key map file. So this is another CSON file, which allows you to customize and write in your own key command. So if you have particular shortcuts or actions that you would like to perform using that, you can use customize those here. You'll also find these in each one of the packages settings where you can further customize or change those.